So once you've attacked the sidelines well, you need something that's going to attack the middle of the field. And that's what we're going to talk about today and why Trips Tight End is, again, I think best equipped to provide this. This is a concept that is good every single year. Every single year, this concept is super powerful. It's also super and ultra simple. Uh, and you can run it in your offense. We're going to show you how to do it today. It's out of Trips Tight End, but you can do it out of other formations. If you want to get my entire Trips Tight End offensive ebook, the link to sign up for the Patreon is down in the description uh, below. It's only $10 to get access to it. You get everything by becoming a Patreon member. So I would encourage you to check that out. Now, this is kind of what we forced our opponent into. And I'm going to explain why relatively quickly, and then we're going to get to uh, our content today. So uh, I'm going to come out and pee, kind of go, we can access everything that way. Uh, but basically, here's, here's what we've done. So what we've done is we've taken, for example, this cover four style defense, and we've said, you can't play that against us because we're going to attack the sidelines. So we're going to attack, um, you know, the corner route to the left side, which is really, really good out of trips that end. So as you can see there, the corner route on that side, we're attacking it. It's hard to guard that um, with cover four drop. Another thing that we did is we should, we said, okay, we're going to attack the sideline on the right side. So we can do something like this. Uh, and what's going to happen is this route to Christian Kirk is going to clear out the, the, the uh, quarter, and we're going to throw this basically right there and catch it just like that. So now they can't play cover four, cover three. They can't play default zone. They can't really play match. They're going to struggle to play man. And so everything is kind of climaxing to this coverage that, they're about to, that I'm about to show you, and that is cover three Mabel. All right, cover three Mabel, and I think this is the only coverage people can play um, against against this deep, against this offense, in my opinion. So uh, we're gonna put a couple audibles. We're just gonna put drive posts mainly as our number one audible um, that I want to showcase if I can find it, uh, and then I'll also talk briefly about curl flat maybe if we have time. Um, but the basic concept you can actually create from anything. Uh, so here's what they're for. Here's what they're basically forced into. They're forced into this coverage right here. And best case scenario, they have one yellow zone. They definitely aren't going to have two. Um, so like this is the user. The user typically is going to be covering the middle of the field. Typically, the user is actually going to go vertical, um, or they're going to have some kind of cover three Mabel. Uh, but anyways, the point is, if I try to throw, you know, this corner route uh, to the left side that 30 yard zone is going to guard it. As you can see, it takes away the deep sideline attack. All right, it takes away the deep sideline attack. Same thing with the crosser, same thing with the crosser. So if I was to run, um, you know, PA counter go and run it like this, albeit this is not, it's not gonna take away everything, but it will take away the, slide, the, the flat routes and it will also typically take away that sideline route, which he just dropped, he just dropped super slow, but it'll take away that sideline route. All right. So come back to how do we attack? So if you think about it, this is what you're basically getting. You're getting flat, you're getting deep flat, and you're getting over top flat. Over top, flat, over top, or, or deep flat. So that leaves two people in the middle of the field, one of them being the user. So they can only do a couple different things with these guys. One of the things they might do is they might man them up on problem routes. Um, or another thing they oftentimes will do is they will take this guy and put him in a deep blue because it's going to protect them against, you know, deep post routes, uh, deep things like that. So now, oh, there's only one person uh, in the middle of the field and it's their user defender. And this is actually most common. So all we, need, all we need to do to attack this is attack the middle of the field. So the way that I like to do this um, is we're going to run a what I call seam concept. So the basic idea here is to attack the seam. So we're going to put the tight end on a crossing route. We're going to put Julian Edelman here on a hitch. We're going to take Michael Irvin and put him on an out. That's going to pull out the curl flat. And then we're going to flat our slot receiver and we're going to motion him across and we're going to put our running back on a streak. So you see this is what the play art looks like. The flats pull out the flat zones and you see here the user has to choose how am I going to defend the middle of the field. This concept is great every single year, literally every year. Um, now another version of the same basic thing, um, another version of the same basic theory here 
is to run what's known as, I think Civil refers to this as the idiot beater, really good concept. It's an out on that outside trips receiver. We're gonna hitch this inside trips receiver. Now, this route right here is really important. You could either put him on a curl, you could put him on a streak, or you could put him on a smart routed in or a post. So some different options. Um, and then what I like to do here on the right is we're gonna put our tight end on an out route. So that's gonna help us beat man. And then with our running back, we can either put him on an angle route or we could put him on a, a ghost route, typically. Now, another way to get at this, um, because we do have seam wheels this year, uh, one of the real benefits of being able to motion this guy out, we can motion this tight end out on an out and then run the running back on a seam wheel and we're still in you know kind of a basic idiot beater style. But now we're combining this triangular read over here on the right with a um, a flat and a wheel. So you see here you can highball this wheel once he cuts up field in the seam and then you can get in a tackle battle and fumble the ball because Madden 23 is the most consistent Madden ever made as you can see. So basically you just want to attack the seams. That's the bottom line and you can do it in a lot of different ways. Um, you can do it in a lot of different ways. Again, the versatility from trip side in, I think is super, super valuable. So let's say they put a vertical hook over here. I didn't want to, actually, I didn't even get to the, I didn't even get to show you the hitch. Let me show you the hitch first. So if they do run the, let's say they, let's say they go guard, um, you know, let's say they go guard your running back and you run this concept right here. I think an out route this year is very valuable. I don't, I don't like the zig this year because I think it's too easy for the curl flat to play the hitch. But if you watch here, you'll see, just freeform that inside and you can hit that hitch against against a double flat or a double Mabel zone, okay? So really nice way to attack double Mabel or double flat. Um, so now the way they can defend the hitch is they're gonna drop this guy into that underneath flat and they have a vertical hook. So you have here, here, and they're still basically getting the same thing. The problem is what they've started to create for themselves is now their user has this responsibility. He has to run deep. He has to run deep, okay? Uh, he has to protect against the deep reads. So uh, what I like to do with this, if you want to, is this is where we start to put in the streak right here to Julian Edelman. Um, and then on the with the tight end, what I like to do is we're gonna put him on some type of like crosser or post, and the back is gonna go on a wheel. This concept right here is super valuable. It's the same basic thing right but now because they're because the user is kind of stuck in no man's land we can freeform that seam inside and bomb that coverage just like that if the user doesn't go vertical if the user does go vertical which i'll show you that here um, i'll show you an example of that here if the user does decide okay well i'm going to run vertical uh, to take that away now what we can do is the whole middle of the field is open and so what very fairly simple um, you know, we could do something like we could put the running back on a wheel or put him on a ghost either way, but just something as simple as we're going to play maker to the right, that little slot route. And you see how he's going to get into the middle of the field. So this play provides us a ton of versatility for attacking the double flat coverage. The last thing I want to say about the double flat coverage is if you want to attack downfield against it and they're consistently sitting in it, find a route that goes deeper than 30 yards. Um, the best route that I know of is the verticals crosser or the play curl flat out of trip side in. So we're gonna run this exactly like we run the Y cross play. The only difference is now the route is gonna go 30 yards as opposed to only going um, you know, a certain amount of yards, right? So we're gonna block our running back so we have protection. I know if we don't want to block our running back, put him on a ghost route, I think that's super under underrated. Um, you can do something like that. But anyways, what you'll see here, he will run and then that 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 post, if I pass like that upfield, it's gonna get over the top of a 30 yard cloud, as you can see. So either attack the middle of the field or attack the sidelines just at different depths than what Mabel coverage can actually cover, right? Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn more about Trips Tight End, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to sign up is in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon.